This episode is going to come out later this week, but I'm going to pull this next clip, post it on YouTube today because hits, baby. There you go. <laughs> Let's talk about the breaking news at hand. Mm. Um, and boy, is it a doozy. Last week, obviously, the big news about Lori Lachlan going to the GAC for When Hope Calls, the spinoff of When Calls the Heart, which, you know, we'll touch on here. But then the big news today. Oh my gosh. Daniel Lissing. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what this looks like, but Daniel Lissing coming back for, I believe, uh, when hope calls a country Christmas, which we can touch on that bad name here in a moment. Um, <laughs> but, uh, on the GAC family Saturday, December 18th, uh, Lissing's role is being kept under wraps for now, seeing as how he's dead. So, uh, <laughs> let's talk about this, our reactions to all of this, because it's, it's big news. Lori, uh, straight from the clink and back into Hope Valley, the way God intended, and then <laughs> maybe Hope Valley, I don't know. Uh, and then Daniel Listing, straight from the grave. I, I don't know what to make of this. Jax, as somebody who has seen When Calls the Heart, um, all of it, yes? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Most of it. Most of it? The seasons you had to talk about. You know what? what <laughs> yeah, I've the, seen it. I've seen it. Yes. You know what the program is. Um, this is pretty wild news. How do you envision this playing out? Um, I mean, is he a ghost? Are they flashbacks? It was he actually not dead the whole time, just hiding from the law did he not want to be married anymore there's so many possibilities about all of those possibilities yeah exactly (laughs) the thing with all those possibilities is what are they going to do about the fact that i'm assuming aaron krako is not going to be a part of this so what are these flashbacks going to be if he is a ghost just haunting like what's the point I don't know how they bring him back and do it justice without him. Oh, I don't know. Going back to his wife and his baby. Do you think they're worried about doing it justice? (laughs) Of course (laughs) not. (laughs) But I don't know. Yeah. Slap an eye patch on him. Jack had an evil twin all this time. And (laughs) he's here to make trouble for a country. Are Are you trying to tell me that there's a chance that this is just for ratings? Oh, perish forbid. Uh, <laughs> I, I was thinking about this this morning. Now, you know, the, the thing about Gak is we talk about Bill Abbott, of course, having come from after being, you know, canned from the Hallmark Channel. This other network has sort of brought him in to kind of like do the thing that he does. Um but the people who have hired him to do the things he does is the the Hicks family, who are one of the big investors behind the terrible OANN or One America News Network, who's basic uh, mission statement is like, we're like Fox news, but worse and (laughs) more reactionary. And so I kind of feel like these guys are trying to do the same thing of like, they want to make GAC Hallmark channel, but worse and more reactionary. Um, That's just a hunch. We haven't seen anything from GAC yet. So it was too early to say, but I think that's what we're leaning on. And so I suspect that they're going to make when hope calls, as much like when calls the heart before a person of color with speaking dialogue showed up, <laughs> um, you know, and then figure out and, and, and they know that they're trying, they're clearly trying to attract the Hallmark audience that it, the, the hashtag, not my Hallmark audience, the ones that doesn't want to see same sex couples that don't want to see interracial couples, all that stuff that's been happening only since Bill Abbott left. And so that audience and the Venn diagram of those folks the people who miss Daniel Lissing on When Calls the Heart and the people who are probably still mad about how the whole Nathan Lucas triangle worked out is a very tight circle. So, And I, the I people say, that can figure out how to add this channel to well, them. That's a whole other story. TV. But nonetheless, I mean, it's a, it's a savvy move, but it is, it is typical of how this channel doesn't, at the moment, just seems to be wanting to do it Hallmark style, but old Hallmark style rather than try and forge any kind of new paths. Another thing that I think is interesting, Alonzo, with the OANN is they are one of those networks that has taken the strategic approach of just being everywhere, regardless of if you pay or not. It's on like every platform because it's a, like a freebie. And I wonder if they will try to go in that direction with this network because it actually has 
worked in a people know about this channel because you know it's on all these these free things and like yeah I'm interested I, to see if they move in that direction because i actually don't think that's a bad play i think starting a cable channel in 2021 <laughs> exactly. a bad play but starting a channel that's available everywhere and you're just banking on numbers yeah i've been getting gack all along on my spectrum i had no idea until <laughs> i went looking for it one day um but yeah, clearly the, they're, they're not, you're not hearing anything about a streaming service, which is how most contemporary media is happening now. Uh, but you know, Bill Abbott, of course, is the guy who had emails printed out and given to him on paper. So he's not necessarily Mr. Tech. So yeah, they're clearly, they're clearly aiming at the aging, dying cable audience. And so obviously, if that's going to be your demo, you want to be on as many cable systems as you can and get as many eyeballs in front of it as you can. Well, and, and what's, I think what's interesting about that too, is even using a black and white headshot of Daniel listening, because those are coming back. <laughs> that is what my undergrad acting teacher said. He said, don't get your headshot in color. Black and white headshots are coming back, baby. It's they a classic did it. look. Yeah. It's a classic look. It's so classic yeah. Look. yeah. I don't, I don't see what the big deal is. He look. the thing is, is he does look great. In black and sure. white. I'll give him that. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Daniel Lissing is a fine looking man who can act. I'm, I would love to have been a fly on the wall for these discussions about bringing him on board furthermore, um, because I love to investigate because I'm a snoop. <laughs> I would love to have been a fly in the wall when he decided to leave one calls the heart. Like, I just want to know it all. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, I I hope there's a memoir in him one of these days, because clearly there's some stuff that went down, the leaving and the coming back. Uh, Those are interesting Mm -hmm. stories that we won't know anytime soon, I'm sure. 